Hello my friends and welcome back to the Full Energy Channel. Today we will be doing an MMA workout, beginning with some warm up and we'll be doing some combinations and some body condition exercises, body weight exercises. So I have a bottle of water ready and we'll begin. So remember that each exercise is 30 seconds and we're doing a 10 second rest interval. So it's going to be very intense, so get yourselves ready and let's begin. So begin off with, a, with a, um, jumping jacks for the warm up. So remember to breathe out as you open your legs and your arms go, arms go over your head. So take it gently, just gentle jumping jacks just to get the blood circulating throughout the body and to warm up all the muscles. this going up, up until 30 seconds then we can change over and do some going to do some knee to downward facing dog to warm up the hamstrings and the shoulders and the back so from your knees you push from your knees push all the way back try and get your heels to the floor as you go in the, in the downward dog position in the, in the downward dog position and push your chest towards those thighs to get a good stretch on those spine and the shoulders. So keep this up for 30 seconds. Just warm up your entire body. Now we go on to do some jumping jacks. Some, sorry, I beg your pardon. Some high knees, but we're gonna keep them, we're gonna keep these, these knees low. Just to warm up. Just keep them nice and low for now. So keep this up going for 30 seconds. Make sure you run it, um, going running for your feet on this. Go for your feet on those high knees. So first exercise is going to be shuffle side to side to the sport. So four steps to the side, four shuffles to the side, sprawl, look up. Repeat to the other side and do a sprawl. Don't allow your hips to touch the floor. Just spread yourself out and get your weight. It's just bring your hands just in, um, above your shoulders. So you breathe out as you sprawl and as you come up here, inhale. The combination there, jab, right hand, double jab, right hand. So jab, right hand, double jab, right hand. So you, you can move around your opponent. Just get your footwork right, just moving around them. As long as you do that combination of a jab, right hand, double jab, and right, further right. I'm doing a little semicircle here so you can get a good good view from the camera. But you can do a full circle. Let's get onto the floor now and do some mini bear jumps. So you just place just jump from one side to another of your legs. Push your hips up. Press into your hands and push your hips up and take your leg from one side to another. This will work, work your core and your upper body. My legs are quite low, you can try and get them higher for, for more intensity. Now we're going to do a right hook, left hook, and then we're going to do the knee. Then we're going to repeat to the left. Left hook, right hook, and then left knee. So make sure you place your hands on each shoulder, on the opposite shoulder, with your knee in. So if I knee with my left knee, I place my hands on the right shoulder and I pull him towards me. So left, right, right and place your hands on the left shoulder. As you can see, both hands on the opposite shoulder to get more leverage. Let's go onto the floor again, do some Russian kicks. 
So make sure your hips are elevated and just kick your legs up. Land on the balls of your feet just to work your core, your glutes and it really is a good body toner. If you can get the Maya, go for it. I'm just doing it as basic as possible. You can even go do a slower. Um, so you can even slow it down if, you, if it's needed. Now we do some defending blocks. So we're going to block head blocks and blocks to the, to the rib cage or blocking your liver. See? So head blocks. Throw those hooks. You can throw some hooks in between them. Three, two, one. Remember that the doors on oncoming. Now we're going to work some core to complete workout there. So, going to really lift the knee up. Throw the opposite hand just to work your stamina and you'll feel the work in your legs as well. Keep the opposite hand up which near your chin and just raise the knee up and throw the opposite hand. So here I'm doing a jab, jab and knee. Now we'll do the opposite hand, we're going to throw the right hand and right hand knee with the left leg coming up. So it's just an exercise to work your stamina and tone your legs. And I certainly felt the tone in my legs. Just like a mini jumps. And this will work. You'll feel the work here. I can guarantee you that. So this is the first round, you remember, we're doing two rounds today. Let's keep this going for 30 seconds. And we're going to do the left hook, weave, uppercut, weave, uppercut, left, left hook, and then do a left to the liver. So weave, uppercut, okay, and okay. So weave, uppercut, weave, uppercut, left hook, and knee. Left hook, weave, left hook, weave, and just keep this going. So at the end you do a hook and then you place your hands on the shoulders and you do a knee. We do some bear walks now, this is a work of core from the animal workout. So make sure the knees don't touch the floor, keep your feet flexed. And for the camera, I'm just going to go, I'm going backwards and forwards. So as you can see, this is a bear crawl. My knees don't touch the floor, my legs, feet are flexed. Three, two, one. Do the push kick, following that up with the right hook, left hook and do a round ass kick, low kick. So right hook, left hook, round ass kick. Push, front push kick, right hook, left hook, and the round ass kick. So you defend with the front push kick, hook, left hook, round ass kick, low kick. So put all your weight into that round ass kick. And when you throw the front kick, you was the knee up and you extend the leg. One. Doing two hooks and the round ass kick. Let's work the abs now. So this is a high knee, ab crunch. One. So as the leg, as the knee comes up, you push the arms down towards the knee on either side of the leg. And to get more intensity, you can curve your back and you'll feel that crunch. 
get in his eye, remember to breathe on this because this is very demanding on the stamina, yeah, just work your stamina so as the knee comes up, you breathe out very important to breathe I'm going to change sides now so a 10 second break, remember and the opposite leg now, let's begin get that knee up and you breathe out as it, as it comes up now this is the, coming to the end of the first round so if you need if needed you can have a little one minute break and drink some water but if you want to really go for it just begin the second round immediately so again, we do the spool, shuffle to the other side, spool. Now I made the stupid, stupid mistake of doing this workout without any shoes, but I recommend wearing shoes on this cement surface. I paid for it because I've got sores on my bottom of my feet. But never mind. You wear shoes, if, you're not, if there's no mat on the surface sat doors, I recommend you wear shoes. Again, we're going to do the jab, white hand, double jab, and throw the white hand with all the power you have. So you're keeping them away, jab. So throw that white hand, the final white hand, more power. Remember to move around your opponent. Mines are pretty low, but get the mire for more intensity. So jab right, jab, jab right. Back into the floor again with those mini mid bear jumps. So as I said before, if you're not able to, if you're not so, if your fitness level isn't so high, keep these up slow. But to really get more intensity, get those hips as high as you can. I was feeling it on the second round, seeing as, seen as I had a two-week break. But try and get those hips higher for more intensity. So keep it going to the end. So we do the right hook, left hook, right knee. Left hook, right hook, left knee. And place, place your hands on the opposite shoulder of the, of the knee. So again, you can move around as you do this. So if you're in a real fight scenario, try and get move around and not stay stationary, static. So as you throw those hooks, place your full body weight behind them, those hooks. And you can place your hips back on the knee to get more power. Wash and kicks again. Remember hips elevated and get those legs up as high as you can. Nice going. So if you've gotten this far, you're doing well. So you're just going to do some blocking, for some hooks, some blocking. So remember, in any fight, or any, as you box or any sport, you'll always have the incoming. So as you throw the, those hooks, protect your head, protect your shin, protect your ribs. So as I to protect my hips, as not as I I sink my obliques to protect my hips. So punch on eye knees. 
So again, you throw that left jab and you bring your knee up. Now, placing that knee there is also a way of protecting the roundhouse kicks in general. But I'm hoping, but this knee is sometimes placed there to protect the incoming roundhouse kick or low kick. I've just, turned this in, I've just turned this into an exercise where I'm like doing little hops and I'm throwing my right hand and my left, bringing my left knee up to really give myself a good stamina workout. Just to burn fat, if you're looking to lose weight, just doing this exercise workout will definitely burn the calories. You'll definitely lose a lot of water and you'll definitely get the body tone. So get the leg up high and throw, place all the energy into the hand which you're throwing. Hook, weave, uppercut, uppercut, left hook, and knee. So weaving, uppercut, left hook, and knee. So beer calls again. And let's go. So the second time man is going to be harder. So just make sure you keep your knees off the floor and feet flexed and keep everything parallel as you're going backwards and forward. So you walk in with the opposite arm to leg. Three, two, one. your glutes. So front push, push, front kick, two hooks, and a low kick. So you're moving in, you're just front kick, you're moving in, moving forward, and low kick. So you push them away, hook, left hook, and line ass kick. Get back to those abs again. Three, two, one. So second time round is going to be harder, but the more you, this is the way you need to really work to really improve your stamina level. When it gets hard, when the going gets tough, you really push harder. That way you're taking those vital steps forward in your fitness. So remember to work harder, when you're feeling tired. Three, two, one. So I'm going to change sides again now. And we're done. Two, one. So this is the final exercise. And remember, um, we'll be doing the cool down we're nice and warm, so it's the best time to get a good stretch. Stretch out the muscles, the hamstrings, and all the other areas of your body. Perfect time to have a good stretch. To improve your suppleness. Okay, so, okay, flexibility level. Let's do a lower lunge now. So take both arms up, push the hips forward. Take a deep breath in and we're going to extend the arm up to the sky, raising the leg behind. Then 
and you're gonna stretch the leg in front and take a nose to your knee, get a good hamstring stretch. Let's do the other side now. So hips. Now I've done this, I've done this very, fairly quickly, but you can take your time on this. Hold this position for like 15 seconds. Okay, I made it very brief, just to show you what you, what you need to do here. So you can hold on this position for 30 seconds. Just remember to keep the back leg stretched on this exercise. Oh yeah, I didn't do the, the stretch at the front, but never mind. Now you can open your legs and we can stretch to the each side. So the leg air is relaxed and the arm over of your head is extended. So here we get the stress on the obliques, change sides, feet pointed, legs fully stretched. Now for good measure, take a deep breath in and go into the pancake position. So lengthen out your spine and try and get your chest on the floor. So I hope you enjoyed that MMA workout, warm up, body, body condition exercises and fight combinations. So just to get stress the outside of your hips, you can place the hold this position on each leg for 15 seconds. So I repeat, that was the MMA workout. And I hope you enjoyed that. You feel the benefits of this workout by doing it once a week. So please like and share the video and subscribe to this channel. Just do the forward fold position here. Lengthen in your spine and just to really get a good stretch on those hamstrings. So please like and share the video if you're looking for diet suggestions, I have diet tips in the link below. So check those out. Please like, share and subscribe and see you soon my friends. Thank you for watching.